Hi, I'm Nathan Blackrain 79 Williams. I've been playing poker professionally for almost a decade, and I've played millions of hands of low stakes online poker. I see beginners making mistakes every single day, and these are the top five that are probably costing you money. Number five, overvaluing over pairs versus passive players. So one of the top mistakes that I see beginners making, and you know, we've all been there, is when we're starting out is, is stacking off with over pairs. And what you need to realize is that uh, most of the players at the lowest stakes are, are pretty passive. Um, and in general, when they start raising you, check raising you, or just regular raising on the, on the turn of the river, what I call the big money streets, uh, chances are your over pair is not good. A lot of these players are playing many, many tables and they're not just picking on you out of the blue. Um, that's a spot where you need to be folding your over pair. Number four, too much slow playing and not enough value betting. So another common uh, mistake that I see a lot of players making at the lowest stakes is uh, not value betting enough versus the calling station. Uh, the vast majority of players at these stakes uh, just like to call. Uh, you can't win a big pot uh, unless you build one against these kind of players. Uh, slow playing is not a good idea versus these players, and I'm talking about hands like top pair or better. Uh, so just make sure that uh, when you have top pair or better, just make sure that you're consistently betting. Uh, don't be afraid that you're going to scare them out of the pot. If they fight back, if they've got something you're beat, they'll tell you. Uh, but you need to build that pot against them in order to win a big pot of these stakes. Number three, deciding whether to play a big pot or not on the flop. So something else that a lot of beginner players struggle with is not making decisive decisions on the flop. A lot of the times you have a mediocre type hand, perhaps a, a middle pair, uh, some sort of weak draw, and you need to be making decisive decisions on whether you're going to play a big hand, uh, whether you're going to play the hand aggressively, or just fold. If you find yourself just calling down with a mediocre hand a lot, uh, chances are you should have folded on the flop. Number two, making bad decisions pre-flop that put you in tough spots later in the hand. Another one of the biggest mistakes that I see uh, newer players making uh, is making poor decisions pre-flop. Uh, in poker, everything starts before the hand. Uh, I call this the snowball effect. You know, you make uh, poor decisions at the top of the hill, you know, it just it gets worse and worse for you. Uh, one of the biggest problems is calling out of position with uh, marginal hands, especially uh, the you know, trap hands that can easily be dominated, hands like perhaps uh, King Jack, uh, uh, Ace-9. Um, really you need to be folding these hands pre-flop most of the time, and if you see a spot to profitably 3-bet, uh, then you can take that opportunity as well. But calling out of position is usually going to lead to uh, just more problems for you later down the road in the hand. And number one, recognizing tilt and being able to quit. And the biggest mistake that newer players make at the tables is tilt. Um, it's really important to be able to recognize tilt. Some of the common signs are playing too many hands, playing more aggressively than normal, and also having a hopeless feeling that you're gonna lose every single time. Um, it's really important that you're able to recognize these signs and also understand that poker is a long-term game. Uh, we, we don't want to be getting our ego involved in a single session and, and trying to uh, win a bunch of money back when uh, we're playing poorly. Uh, when you recognize the signs of tilt, it's really important to just walk away from the game that day and come back the next day with a clear head.